Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. One of the companies that could have a really promising position in the future of media is Comcast and its subsidiary NBC Universal, which obviously owns the NBC network, but also owns Universal Studios and all of the assets that go along with that. But the company has chosen to move most of its most valuable streaming content to Peacock, which is really struggling, not generating a ton of revenue and costing the company hundreds of millions of dollars every quarter. I wanna go through just how much money Peacock is costing Comcast and where it could have more opportunities if it just shut it down and started selling that content elsewhere. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Rive Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And I wanna start by putting the Peacock problem into context. First off from the company's earnings release from the first quarter, paid subscribers increased more than 60% to 22 million. Revenue generated was $685 million. That's up 45%. So the number of subscribers is going up more quickly than revenue, which tells you that price is actually suffering here. The other big thing is what I have highlighted here in blue, costs and expenses associated with Peacock, $1.4 billion to generate a little less than $700 million in revenue. So the loss for Peacock was $700 million in the quarter. The challenge is how are they gonna turn that around? This is the Peacock homepage, Peacock TV. You can get a year of Peacock for only $20. So that's less than $2 a month, showing that they're really desperate for new subscribers. They wanna have more people paying for this service. And that's why you're getting a discount right now compared to especially streaming services like Disney Plus and Netflix. So there's a couple of challenges there. One, Peacock is not making money. Two, they're not able to add subscribers at a really rapid rate, especially ones that are willing to pay. So not only can you not make money on streaming subscriptions, but also it's harder to make money on advertising. That's what both Netflix and Disney are adding to their services. If you don't have a big advertising base, you're gonna be less attractive to advertisers. You just don't have that operating leverage there to make a big splash in advertising. What could NBC Universal and Comcast be doing with this content? Well, if we look at the content that they have, there's some pretty attractive shows, especially on the family side of things. This is the Illumination Studio here. You can see that it's involved in building the Super Mario's movie, actually did the animation for that. Sing, Secret Life of Pets, the Despicable Me franchise and the Minions movies. So there's a lot of really valuable assets there. Right now, most of those assets are not on other streaming services. What that means is that Comcast is not generating revenue from a Netflix or a Disney who would pay for those pieces of content. Instead, they're putting it on Peacock, which is losing money. So you have a number of challenges here happening all at once. NBC Universal is trying to build out Peacock, losing a lot of money doing that. And in the process is taking its most valuable assets and putting it into a money losing entity instead of generating a profit. So you have $704 million in losses from Peacock itself, but that doesn't even account for the money that Comcast and NBC Universal could be making by simply licensing the content that they own that's in the back catalog to some of these other companies. At the end of the day, this is the way that I think streaming plays out. We're going to have between two and four large streaming services, and they're going to pull together all kinds of content, not only from their own studios, but also from third party studios. NBC Universal would be a great third party studio. And actually it has a great theme park business attached to it. So if you just take out this money losing business and actually turn that into a money generator by licensing that content to someone else, you actually have a better business model, more cash flow, more money that you can put back into creating new content or building more theme parks. I think this is really the opportunity for Comcast. If they just simply said tomorrow, hey, we're gonna end Peacock and we're gonna start licensing our content to other streaming services. I think we could see free cash flow increase a significant amount. It would actually make up for some of the losses that we're seeing in the cable TV business, which is in decline right now. So this is one of those kind of crazy unforced errors by Comcast. They're trying to get into the streaming business, but that's not really its core business. They were not an early mover. They have not built scale. At some point, they're gonna to have to cut that off. I think either Peacock's days are numbered or Comcast is just gonna burn through billions and billions of dollars trying to keep this business afloat. But if they do make that turn, I think they could have an increased amount of cash flow because they do have a really good studio there at NBC Universal, and I love the theme park business. So that's the upside, but the mistake by Comcast right now is just the existence of Peacock. 
If you have thoughts on this, leave those in the comments section below. Don't forget to follow Rev Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.